<clears throat> thought you all might appreciate uh, the, the prep here. So this is the collection of resupply boxes that Evan and I are going to attempt to nourish ourselves from. Um, as you can just see, we're with a very superficial look here. Uh, not a whole lot of fresh fruits and veggies in there, but um, lots of calories, lots of fat. soak our feet in this uh, glacial lake. We made it to the border. Sign a log book. And also took note of this really crazy fact that they have the entire border in the middle of nowhere clear cut. Just doing a little foot care here after we Got to the northern terminus. Figure we take a break. I haven't just put some Luca tape on. I got this amount of looking blister on the back of my heel. Gonna drain that puppy. Try to sterilize this blade first. I've seen a lot of these mushrooms around the trail. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I don't know if they're, they might be coral mushrooms, but I have a feeling that they're probably edible. This is for you, Dad. Figure out what these are. Something I really like about the PCT, and this isn't supposed to be <laughs> becoming like a constant comparison between the AT and the PCT, but you can often see where you're going and where you came from with PCT, which is awesome. Here. You can see I've been back there somewhere. There's, there's a really great view ahead to the Rocky Pass, so we need to go over there and take all the switchbacks up and over that ridge. section of forest clearly burned at one point. That's kind of cool because without any sort of canopy or sunlight blockage, the understory is just thriving. Hello, I want to show you guys our campsite tonight. Um, we finished up for the day. We did over 26 miles, so a marathon on our first official day southbound. I uh, didn't necessarily expect that, but just happened. 
So um, we're feeling okay, a little sore, a little tired, um, but happy to be in camp. Pretty mosquito-y, so we have our nets on. But let me show you camp here. So Evan's tent, my tent, just a baby version here. They're actually the exact same brand. One's called the one and one's called the two. I am cold soaking some ramen over here for dinner. Evan's for a little bit further along on his. And we have a really spectacular view at our campsite tonight. Maybe not quite as good as the pond last night, but it's pretty awesome to have almost panoramic views. And I missed the sunset for you guys, but it was really nice out over the ridge on that direction. Flowers are beautiful everywhere right now. I think because of the melt off, snow has really just significantly melted off in the past uh, week or two, I believe. Okay. I think we'll check in with you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Figured I'd share my breakfast spot with you guys this morning. It's just as pretty as the sunset was up here. So today is July 21st. The plan is to do 25 miles today. Um, we're going to get back to Hearts Pass where we started, hopefully this morning. So, I just love flowers and wildflowers, and I don't think we could be coming through here at any better time. I think, I don't know. I'm not really an expert on this, but I imagine that these the wildflowers bloom after melt off, kind of lay dormant, snow melts off, and right now there's just this spectacular display all over the mountainsides. There's whites, yellows. just blanketing the whole mountainside. It would already be so pretty as is, but it just makes it that much better. Got our first trail magic here at Hearts Pass. So we got to the bear box where you can store your food so that you can grab some of it when you flip flop back from the border. And there were some signs and a really nice couple from Nebraska. Got a Gatorade, Coca-Cola, some cookies. Um, their son is actually doing the, the border tag right now. Um, and he's kind of pieced together different sections of the north end of the PCT and is flipping back to California to the southern end. So really, really nice people. Really fun looking snow traverse here. I can get my poles out and then help me bounce, but the snow has just been so soft because it's literally probably 75 degrees out. Uh, these aren't difficult. There's lots of tracks. You can really sink your foot into these and have a nice little brake stop so you're not really worried about sliding down. Here's a picture of camp for the evening. We're really close to a roaring stream over here. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but that's set up. Everyone else is kind of scattered about. We actually conveniently and amazingly have some benches in the middle of nowhere. Um, I don't know if we'll make a fire because we're probably a little bit too tired, but we've got dinner cold soaking here. This is herb. 
and garlic couscous with olive oil. And it probably takes like half an hour to soak through totally. So everything's nice and the uh, little pasta pellets are soaked through and not crunchy. And then I'll add some tuna to it when it's done. Evan missed our morning yoga session while he was taking a dump. So All we're right. forcing him to catch up before we get this going for the day. Single leg over. Put your left arm up. Put your right leg up. Put your right knee up. Put your left arm over the other side of your knee. No, like on the, like this, like. Okay. All right. Now keep your right shoulder on the ground, and then put your hip parallel to the sky. This is your favorite thing, Evan. You get to stare up at the sky. All the way. Oh. Tons of blowdowns on the trail this morning. First major highway crossing here, Route 20, apparently called the North Cascades Scenic Highway. Beautiful view of the Cascades, popular area for day hikers. It's kind of funny, the trail quality for the past like five miles was really, really good. I just love old weathered signs like this that show their age. When you're skirting the edge of the mountains like this, there are occasionally these areas of washout that are honestly a little sketch. Fun stuff ahead. So yes, first of all, I am moving. Um, we just made it to our first major highway intersection with Highway 20. There's conveniently a pit toilet here. So I'm going to give you access to say a privileged hiker through hacking information. Not really, but um, this is a reality. When you have an opportunity to get toilet paper, you get some extra toilet paper. Now, one might consider this, you know, is it dishonest to take toilet paper from a public pit toilet? I don't even consider it so because tax dollars, public tax dollars are paying for this. But while I'm actively pooping, I'm going to Make a little mini roll here. I would never take an entire roll, but this is a two-handed job. So this is the gist of it. Pretty nice new trail crew. Provided a plain roll. This is maybe the most robust privy I've ever seen in the backcountry. Just an iron tank. I think I read in the uh comments on our uh, digital guide it's called gut hooks for the trail and they call this the thunder box which i quite like coming into high bridge historical cabin here this is the site where a shuttle comes and we'll get us into town for our first town stop and resupply after five days of hiking i believe so this is what this place is named after the high bridge over the Stahican River, which is absolutely beautiful right now and roaring. So it's actually funny, I, when I look at this, I don't know if you can tell the color, but it reminds me exactly of that Gatorade flavor that's like glacial freeze. It's like the exact same kind of turquoise blue. And this is definitely glacial. So this is just absolutely beautiful water. Awesome little suspension bridge here. Going over a very roaring Double check me on this dab, but this is the biggest cedar tree I think I've ever seen. So you can't tell in the video until I do a little perspective, but this thing has got to be probably like eight, nine feet diameter. 
So maybe this is what used to say the uh, the white oaks were like. I mean, this might be a 10 foot diameter tree, but yeah, this is an amazing tree. It's like one of the ones that Paul Stamets talks about. That's like the foundation of these little micro environments. It's probably a couple hundred years old and has all that information stored in its fungal network. First rattlesnake spotted on trail. You must have just been out here sunning. First time on the feet in uh, five days here. We're on a shuttle heading to Stahican Valley Ranch. They don't have any vacancy for the night, so we can't stay there. But um, we're going to get to grab some lunch, hopefully. And then uh, they have rentable bikes that you're allowed to leave in town, apparently. So the hope is that we can get a good burger in our bellies, bike to town, get our package before the post office closes, and then crash pretty hard at the campsite and get a shower and do laundry. The simple things. First real food since the start. Been five days and 110 miles. Excited for this. We got burgers going in the room. Just the start of our meal here at the Stahican Valley Ranch. This is an awesome lodge way back in the mountains. So we still have burgers coming. Super pumped. So we need to make it to the post office by two in Stahican. We just had an awesome lunch. Um, our best option are these bad boys. Um, the bus isn't gonna get us there in time. So we're gonna ride nine miles on a dirt road and hustle. And we're off to the races. I think it's mostly downhill, thank God, because this follows the Estahican River. Got one over there. Evan's that faint little distant dot. Here we go. We made it to the post office in time. This is the cutest darn little post office I've ever seen. You should see the inside is just like a singular little room with like a counter. That's it. And this place is literally only accessible by boat, ferry, and plane. So it's kind of amazing that our packages that I sent out over a week ago, I guess, from around Seattle, Washington, actually even made it here. But there's a hostel. Tennessee, North Carolina. 